The gloomy town of Falkreath. Nestled in the beautiful southern pine forests of Skyrim, this town has loads of charming people who like to work hard and play hard. But what's really going on underneath the surface of this humdrum town? How is the local economy doing? Well, that is what we are going to figure out today as we take on another unemployment report in the land of Skyrim, this time for the city of Falkreath. All right, here we are. Welcome back, everybody, for another unemployment survey. I've just arrived in the town of Falkreath. Very excited. Unfortunately, the weather is pretty gloomy, but, you know, that's okay. Overcast days never turn me on, as they say, but what does turn me on is uh, enumerating a local population. So does anybody know what the best way to figure out the local unemployment rate is? That's right. We're doing a direct survey. Now, what that means is we're going to be talking to every single person in Falkreath one at a time and deciding uh, if they are employed or unemployed, then we will tally up all of the data, consolidate it into a report, and present it to you at the end. As usual, we will count all of the guards um, at the end of the video. But we're going to start with any non-guards that are outside. So, here is our first contestant. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm sorry. I should really go now. Mm, not yet. I need to know. Do you have a job? I'm just Dengir's maid. Dengir's maid. Maid sounds like a job, right? That seems like, uh, I don't know who Dengir is, but as long as it's an animate person, you know, we'll presume that she makes money, right? Let's check her pockets and see if she has gold in it. Thank you for having a job, miss. One thing I'm noticing off the bat is there are a lot of dead bodies. Uh, there's one over here. This is somebody named Indara Xarelia. She's actually got a key to a farm. That might be helpful later. So let's just snag that. Also, we'll take this gold as kind of like a little phantom tax. And then we've got another dead person over here named Runel. So that's got to be a pretty recent occurrence, um, which obviously is going to affect the employment rate somewhat. But we'll just have to determine how badly later on. For now, I've got another person here. And would you look at that? I mean, this one's easy. We know this person has a job because they are doing it right now. Look at that footwork. Falkreath seems quiet. Only inside the gates. Only inside the gates, he said. I mean, there's dead people everywhere, so you ought to watch the news more, Lod. Seems like a nice enough guy, right? Hard working in any case. There's really not a lot of people out and about. Possibly because of all the random assassinations happening. That's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna deter this farmer, though. He's got a beautiful farm. Actively laboring. This is another easy one. Congratulations on your employment. Indara and I like to keep to ourselves and run our farm. Did you say Indara? Hold on a second. Oh no. Somebody needs to tell him. I shouldn't tell him because if I tell him he's going to stop being employed. So I'll wait after the survey. I'll tell him after the survey. Also, who are you? Do you have a job? You look dressed up like you're, you have a job. But so far all you've done is touch some of these dead bodies. You have the look of a killer. No, sir, just an enumerator. This guy's not really giving me much to go on, so I guess I'm just gonna have to follow him. See if he does any work. So far, he's just sort of, um, walking around. Maybe he's a body counter, you know? Maybe he goes around and just, like, counts bodies. Hey, farmer, how you doing? Having a good day? All right, keep, keep working, buddy. All right, we are walking down towards a very big cemetery. He seems to be very interested in corpses and dead bodies, cemeteries and the like. Yeah, look at him. He's just observing. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wait here for a few hours, see if he does anything else. And if not, I'm not really seeing a good argument for employment. All right, well, this guy's still not doing anything. Standing in the cemetery. All right, buddy, you are unemployed. It really doesn't seem like there's a lot of people out and about here. And it kind of gives the town like a, uh, you know, have you ever gone to a town where it feels like there's not enough people for the size of the town? Possibly be, again, because of all of the, the high rate of murder. But it's like everyone here is just guards. And, um, and, you know, it's a gloomy day, so maybe people just aren't out and about. But I'm not, I'm not liking the vibe so far. It doesn't seem, it doesn't seem great. What about you? Have I talked to you yet? Who are you? Do you have a job, ma'am? Are you going inside? I guess I should just go inside now, since I'm pretty sure we talked to everyone outside. So, yeah, all right, fair enough. Let's, uh, let's enumerate all the insides. Let's check inside the dead man's drink. It's a good name. 
for this town. I like, it's nice to come to an inn because then you at least have, oh, there's actually kind of a lot of people in here. Here's that lady from outside. Oh, look at that. I've half a mind Working. I've half a mind to ask if you'll take me on one of your adventures. Yes, and unfortunately, I'm, we're not allowed to have, um, what are they called? Sled, not, or, uh, interns. That's the word I'm looking for. Anyway, this lady was, uh, she was doing some sweeping, so I'm gonna count her as employed. Look at that, she's about to do it again. Hell yeah. And of course, you've got a job. Thank you for your job. And they've got a bard, my god. How are you, Delacorte? Can I make a request? Can you be quiet while I do my survey? I got, oh, we got a guy in the corner playing slots or something like that. What's he doing? Oh, I've met you in a bar before. I've, yeah. No, thank you. Not today, sir. I'm trying to behave. Oh, this is Dengir. Former Jarl, it looks like. Current uh, drug dealer, possibly. Which is a job. Some will tell you I stepped down on account of my old age. That does, the, the fact that he says he kind of stepped down because of his old age, or at least he could have, does imply that he's retired. Even if he is, again, working hard for the everyman. Uh, but I think I'm going to count him as retired. He's also uh, yelling at service industry workers, which is a very, like, retired person thing to do. All right, and then we got this guy right here. Who are you? Falkreath was once full of wanderers and warriors like yourself. Those were better days. Okay, so he's really old. Look at his skin. And he's talking about how things used to be a lot better. So he's probably retired. Like, that's what, oh, that's what retired people always do. They just talk about how stuff used to not suck and how it all sucks now. I can't wait to retire. Looks like the weather's cleared up just a little bit. Beautiful, dude. I like the skyboxes in Skyrim a lot. I should do a skybox, Skyrim skybox video. Now, where to next? I guess let's go in this, uh, there's a shop here. A trader. Let's pop our heads in here. Ah! Hello. Who are you? I'd like to buy some lumber. Well, he sells lumber, which means he's probably employed, even though he's kind of a jerk, but that's fine. And then we got this other blonde guy. A lot of blonde guys. Like blonde guys and then old guys. Steal anything from my shop and you'll regret it. I would never do such a thing. So I like supporting local business. Thanks for having a job. What do you need, straight? What do we have here? A potion shop. All right, good. Always employment in the potion shop. Where is it? There it is. Hello. Looking for me to mix something up for them? Kind of. I just need to know if you have a job. What should you do? Let's pop inside of this. I assume this is some sort of guard barracks. There are a lot of guards here, which is weird. I guess it's like probably the primary employer. And you never want to forget to check in the basement of the guard barracks is like the uh, the prison. And occasionally you can find some unemployment in the prison. And also what sounds like a big giant monster. What the heck's going on in there? Is this thing sentient, do you suppose? I mean, it's in prison, so it's probably not employed. I mean, there's got to be a way to open this thing, right? I mean, we typically don't count non-human members of the population anyway. But if they're sentient and they could have a job, I feel like we at least have to ask, you know? I think at the end of the day, uh, we're just gonna have to not count that big monster because I don't know how to talk to him. And frankly, it's not really, it's kind of above my pay grade to deal with that. So we're just gonna say not applicable. All right, what else we got for buildings? And then we have uh, Corpse Light Farm here, which I have a key for, just because it was gifted to me by a a friend, but as expected, there is nobody in here, so that's fine. And then we have down here by the graveyard where that one guy was standing for a long time. Oh, look at that, still there. Uh, we have this building here, which I assume is like a oh, yeah, there you go, Hall of the Dead, which kind of just looks like a house, to be honest. I was honestly expecting uh, some creepy skeletons or something at least, but nothing. And I'm pretty sure that just leaves the uh, the government building, so. Let's take a quick peek in there, in the Jarl's Longhouse. Which will surely have some kind of employment. Number one, Nen Nenya. Oh. I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. Not sure what a steward does, but it sounds like a job to me. And of course, this gentleman, the Jarl himself. Good to see you. Does your inexperience make your job difficult? I mean, that's, that's definitive. Thank you for being employed. Over in the side room here, this is becoming a classic. There's always one guy playing Risk inside of these castles, and this one's name is Skullnar. Can't wait to kill another of Ulfric's boys. Jesus. A little bloodthirsty there, buddy. Uh, anybody else in here? Oh yeah, hello. 
Hi, Rhea. What are you? Are you a house carl? So you're employed as a house carl? Is that what this means? Kind of seems like a job, right? I guess. Yeah, sure. I protect the Jarl, whoever that might be. Oh, you're like a bodyguard. Bodyguard's a job. And I believe that's everyone inside uh, this building, which is also... I think everyone inside all the buildings. I used ah, to be in let's take a quick look at the map here. Just make sure barracks, yes. Grave concoctions, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And yes. Yeah, that's all of it. Kind of a small town for a, a hold capital. Uh, but we still do have to count all the guards. So let's head to the entrance gate and then we'll do a big run through. Guard number one. Guard number two, three, four, and five. I think that's it. Because there were none inside. So I think it's just five guards. Huh. Not a lot, honestly. But there's not a lot of people, so... Alright, that is gonna wrap up our survey for Falkreath. A little bit uh, smaller than I expected. I was expecting more substance, but... There's only about 20 people here. So now it's time to take all that data. We'll compile it into a nice little... We'll compile it into a nice little economic report. And we will uh, brief you on it in 3, 2, 1... Press con- Alright, hello everybody. Uh, welcome back to another employment situation summary with the Bureau of Labor Statistics. We have no special information to share with you today. The city that we have surveyed is Falkreath. Uh, oh, we're back in Skyrim again. That's good. Um, so yeah, let's we can get started if you guys are all ready to go. Total surface payroll employment for Falkreath is at 17 persons and unemployment is at 5.6%, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported today. Falkreath is a medium-sized town serving as the capital of the titular Falkreath Hold in Skyrim's southernmost territory. While the town contains a lot of what we've come to expect in a typical Skyrim settlement, a variety of subtle factors from the surrounding geography to the city's sobering history differentiate it from previously surveyed municipalities. Uh, and also play a role in the Bureau's examination of its long-term economic outlook. Chiefly, uh, one of the first things our enumerator noted during their survey was the presence of three murder victims' bodies in plain view, sometimes barely covered up off the main road in the town. Citizens of Falkreath expressed uh, shock upon seeing this sight, but nobody seemed overly concerned. Notably, the wife of a local farmer had been killed, not a stone's throw from where he worked, yet nobody took it upon themselves to let him know. This pervasive malaise uh, is well regarded by the people we spoke to and they almost seem to have some pride uh, at their intimate relationship with the macabre. This attitude doesn't have a huge bearing on the current unemployment situation which at 5.6% is relatively healthy and could be totally stable. But one of the small surprises about Falkreath was uh, that despite being a hold capital, its population is a meager 21 and that includes federally employed guards and government employees. Uh, imagine three more people are killed without warning and suddenly you might be looking at a town with no farmer, no blacksmith, and no skilled herbalist. What then uh, for Falkreath? Provided that this triple homicide is a one-off, uh, Falkreath should be in fairly good shape for a while. One of its local industries is lumber manufacturing and considering that there's nothing but uh, large pine trees for miles around the city, there should be little risk of that income stream drying up anytime soon. Additionally, there's not a single child among the population, but most of the people living there are in healthy working order. So in theory, uh, that could be solved in a few short months uh, with enough willing participants. 5.6% puts Falkreath in a healthy spot near the top of our list ahead of Pewter City and Canto, just behind uh, the small town of Lavender. Uh, its next closest competitors in Skyrim are Riften with 7.8% just below and Solitude just above with a 2.9% unemployment rate. This data comes from a direct survey conducted by the Bureau over three days and that is uh, what we think about Falkreath. The question is what do you think about Falkreath? Actually the real question is what do you think about this video that you just watched? That's the end of it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, post a comment down below saying you liked it. That helps me out a lot. Uh, I have another song for you, of course. You can support me on Patreon if you want to help make more of these videos come true. But uh, yeah, that's it. We're going to end it there. Thank you so much. Enjoy the song today. We'll see you for the next Unemployment Report in Skyrim. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. Oh, it's not like that. Say it. It's not like that.